Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another weekly uh, finance update for Magic Online. Cards you should be picking up or be watching to hopefully uh, pick them up on a down tick. Uh, pretty much got all modern stuff for you today. The first one's Chandra Flame Caller. Um, this one is starting to go, looks like, on an uptick. So if you plan on getting you a couple copies for those. Uh, those rogue decks I would grab a couple now uh, we see it's uh, I think it did yeah not a lot of showing but there is one result posted with Scred Red uh, you know they're just dirt cheap you know you only probably need maybe one or two copies so pick them up now before they uh, start going up I think they're gonna go up in value there's only printing uh, they were only there was a couple oh on Magic Online there's only the Oath of the Gatewatch printing, so keep that in mind. Uh, next we got a Tarkus Command. This card has kind of fallen out of favor and as far as being played in any decks, but because of that it seems like the price is starting a new downtick. Uh, this is one I would uh, keep an eye on and keep watching it and when it goes down low enough pick you up a play set. Uh, we see there is some play. Uh, it's not as popular in the burn deck as it used to be. Uh, it seems like the burn decks are focusing more on just red-white. However, it is a super powerful card, and whenever it does finally uh, have a showing in a in a tier deck again, uh, this is a kind of the kind of card that the price will jump up. Uh, again, it's only on Magic Online, only printed in Dragons of Tarkir, so only released in Dragons of Tarkir. Uh, this was one of the more powerful, one of the more played commands. This, Culligan's Command, and uh, then Dromoka's Command. Culligan's Command, of course, being number one right now. Uh, this and Dromoka's Command were kind of like in second place to that. So keep an eye on this one. Another one, uh, Godless Shrine. Uh, played in a lot of decks in Modern. Uh, it's just, it's on right now on a down tick. Uh, this is another one I would keep an eye on and it, continue to watch it go down and uh, get you a play set whenever it hits uh, rock bottom. I don't know why this one's so cheap because uh, it's in a lot of modern decks. Uh, maybe because it's, you know, it's been printed a couple times, I guess. But uh, yeah, here's a good one to keep uh, on the lookout for, uh, for your, a modern, modern staple land. Uh, so we know Masters 25 is coming out. Uh, this is one of the cards affected by it. Right now the promo, online only promo card is only 64 cents. This is another one I would keep an eye on and watch and as this goes down get you a play set. Uh, other than the promo online it's only in Dark Ascension. Um, yeah I think this one's going to continue to go down after the release of Masters 25. Uh, whichever copy, whichever version is the cheapest, gets you a play set whenever it's like below 50 cents or something. Another card affected by uh, Masters 25. This one was only printed paper and online in New Phyrexia. Uh, we can see it's just drastically going down. Uh, this is another one to keep an eye on. Uh, see if it goes even lower and gets you a play set of Obliterators. This one, I don't know how it's going to go, but obviously a fringe card, uh, Snow Covered Mountain. The online Master's Edition 2 release uh, is only $0.42 cents right now. Uh, this one, you have to buy a lot of copies if you want to play like Scred Red. So maybe get you a play set and then just keep an eye on it and just continue to buy them if the price stays nice and low until you get you, you know, 20 to 24 land, uh, Snow Covered Mountains and then you'll be good. Another modern semi-staple land, Sulphur Falls. It's on a big down tick right now. Uh, in a lot of decks in modern. Uh, printing, only printed, only released in, on paper and in Magic Online and in Innistrad only. So uh, keep watching this one and get you a play set whenever it, this, this uh, 
bottoms out right here. Next one, Emrakul. Looks like it's on a pretty good downtick too. The Rise of the Eldrazi one's currently the cheapest one. There's a lot of different promo and printings and whatnot, and a Masters printing. Uh, of course, we know this is a, a big staple, you know, in uh, those the going big decks, you know, the reanimator decks, breach decks. So I, this is one I'm going to keep an eye on and maybe get one or two copies if this continues to go down. And finally, uh, Ugin the Spirit Dragon. The online promotional copy is only 43 cents right now. It looks like over since Ixalan's release, for some reason this card just plummeted uh, the release of Ixalan and it's continued to slowly just bottom out. I would go ahead and get like two to three copies of this now. And, I mean, 43 cents. Uh, we all know this is a Tron card and it's used in, look, looks like even, yeah, uh, Legacy Cloud Post. Uh, so there's some some uh, some good potential use for it. Probably only need like three copies at the most, but it's dirt cheap. Get you a copy uh, before the price goes back up. Well, I hope that helps you out. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know about any interesting speculations that I might be missing out on. And uh, have a good day.